Hey there, Casita guys. Tonight we're going to be talking about the TV. Now I have my TV set up for uh, transit right now, so everything is down on the bed, including the board, which is really heavy. And you don't want to leave this uh, attached to the wall with bungees or anything like that, because uh, what will happen is it will start fatiguing those two flinge, flanges. Flinges, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what will happen is it will get loose. Uh, the uh, little uh, rivets they use to hold them on will kind of elongate and get pulled out a little bit, and uh, it'll be loose. So you want to take this off. There's quite a bit of fulcum here when you're going down the road because of its weight. Uh, here you can see I have my 24-inch ViewSonic LCD TV, and I also have a uh, up-converting uh, Sony uh, DVD player. I, I like this a lot better than the uh, one that comes in the TV. It does a much better job because it up-converts all my DVDs. So I like that a little better. And I'm going to show you how I set this up. So I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to um, get the shelf set up in place and then I'll make another segment of this video for you. Okay, so the first thing I do is I set up my table. And as you can see underneath here, I use these little bungees here to go from the top underneath the table down to the little holes on either side of the little strut clip there. And I do that just so there's a little extra retention here on this thing. In case I kick it, it's not going to come out as easy. You know, because, uh, um, you know, you don't want this coming out, especially when you have your TV on it. So uh, that's step one. Okay, so the second thing I do is I put on my uh, surge strip here with the surge protectors. And that, of course, is connected up here. And this also has the uh, antenna coming in. I have that running through a surge as well. And then that's going to the TV, which is still down here. And I've also made this a lean forward ramp here. It's about a uh, 15 degree slope. And uh, I'm doing this so it's at the proper optimal viewing angle when I'm sitting in bed. So that it's, it's not, you know, it's not pointed flat. It's angled at me, so it's a little more comfortable to look at. So as you can see, I have that in place. So now we're all set. Uh, we have the TV laying down here still, and I'm just going to put the TV in place. Okay, so we'll stop. Okay, so now as you can see, I have my TV in place. And it's sitting on its uh, shelf there. And the surge strip is in back of it, which everything is plugged into. So the only thing we have to do now is to figure out where the DVD player is going to go. Hmm, where are we going to do it? What are we going to do with it? Well, hang on, and I will show you where that goes. Okay, so here we can see that we have the TV all set up now. And, oh, look what's up here. Look, we have a nice little shelf. So what I did is I used these eye straps, which are used in the marine industry. You can see one there, maybe. And this is just a piece of a white coat hanger, which I've bent. So this allows me to make a shelf here. And then I have this little black piece of plywood with little feet on it. That creates my little shelf for my DVD player to sit on. And oh, there's my DVD library right back there. So as you can see, everything is up, out of the way. No problem now. And uh, we have, uh, oh, where are we going to keep our remotes? Well, we have a little shelf against the wall here with a hook. And up oh, we have our remotes right here so that we can turn on our DVD player and get it going. So, you know, I usually keep my power off, which, you know, which is back on the power strip, which gives you a little extra layer of security. So I just turned it on now. So we can open up the DVD player, power it up. There we go. And now we're ready to watch a movie. So this is a nice setup. Uh, everything's out of the way. It also gives you a nice shelf here. Um, this is a little idea of mine. I've actually used this a couple of other places in here. I actually use it over the sink. Maybe I can show you real quick. See, I have the hook here. I also I have a hook over there where it attaches to. And I keep this little thing uh, down here inside the uh, 
inside the uh, you know the drawer here. So what I do in this case is I simply hook it to the hook on the wall, and then uh, it's kind of hard to do one-handed here. Sorry about the camera work. There. So now we have a nice shelf here. Pretty nifty, huh? It actually holds a lot of weight, and it's good when you're cooking too. So. Oh, I know you're looking at these little cameo lights up here. Yeah, that's another little customization here. I'll talk about that maybe in another video, but definitely adds to the coziness inside, as you can see. Okay, so that's all for today from the Casita Commander.